So for those of you who are into the crypto space, you might want to know exactly what futures trading is. And in this online tutorial, I'm going to be telling you, even if you're a beginner, how you can actually get started with the futures trading. Now, let me say something very, very important to you, because if I don't say this and I don't preface it with this, you need to understand the details and the dangers of futures trading. You have to understand that when it comes, you have to understand that when it comes to trading, okay, this means that only one to 20% of traders make money and 80 to 99% of them fail. Now, I'm just stating this because you have to understand that crypto trading is much more different and way more dangerous than traditional retail trading, okay? And I'm going to explain to you exactly why this is and how you can get started as a beginner and the pitfalls that you need to avoid. So let's get into this. So right here, I'm on the website. You can see I've navigated over to KuCoin's futures. I like KuCoin's futures. Some people use Binance futures. Some people use BitGet. There's many different platforms like Bybit. Any platform you can use, you can use. And understand, okay, if it doesn't say futures trading, the leverage isn't going to be as much. The reason we're talking about leverage trading or future trading is because it allows you to access a lot more leverage than traditional leverage. Traditional leverage is maybe two times, but futures leverage, which I'm about to show you in another tab, is a huge another amount of leverage. You can also see that you can trade futures on Binance, but I'm just going to be going over KuCoin because I feel like it is a, you know, very, very simple. Now, of course, even on KuCoin, they say, you know, um, be careful. But anyways, that's not the point is, how do we trade futures? So, um, it says right here, and I'm going to just walk you guys through the demo. It says, what is futures leverage? The futures leverage is a magnifier. If you use 10x leverage, then your profits and your losses are going to be magnified by tenfold. Now, here's the kicker, okay? Because some people, including beginners, only pay attention to one part of the sentence. Remember, it's a magnifier. So, of course, people think, oh, 10x leverage, 10x profits. But this means that your losses are going to be magnified. And I'm also going to tell you the sneaky way that these platforms try and make you lose money, okay? So if we click next, you can see when the price increases by 10%, if you go long with 10x leverage, your profit will be 100%. Now you might be thinking, what does 100% profit mean? Essentially, 100% profit means you've doubled your money. If it's 50% profit, that just means you've made half of the profit, okay? So a 100% is, I guess you could say a double, 200% is, you know, a twice double, you know, 400% is a quadruple. And of course, 10,000% or 1,000% is just a 10x, okay? So understand that this can also work for you in the inverse, okay? So if you go long 10x and the price declines 10%, you have to understand that you lose your entire fund, okay? All the money in your account, you lose it, okay? So of course, you can see right here, it explains that leverage does bring more risks. So if the price of a coin decreases by 10%, if you go long with 10x leverage, your losses will be 100%. So why is this important? And I'm going to show you guys something on CoinMarketCap. Now, the reason this future trading is so popular, okay? And the reason I want to bring this to light is because let's say, for example, we pick a random coin, okay? You have to understand that let's say, for example, I picked any of these coins, okay? And I put 10x leverage, okay? So for example, let's say this coin right here. Um, in fact, let's just say render token because this is a coin that I've been raving about for quite some time. Of course, 8x leverage. And then of course, let's say we did 10x leverage. If we did 10x leverage on this, this would have been an 80% gain, okay? So you have to understand that if you want to figure out how much it leverage is going to multiply your gains or losses on a position that you would have made, just add a zero to the end of it. So this would have been 80.5%. And that's something that beginners don't understand, okay? That leverage, okay, can make you lose a lot more. Now, here's the thing that you need to understand, okay? If you're going to start leverage training, okay, there's many different things that you need to do. One of the first things that you need to do, guys, is you need to understand risk, okay? And what this means is that, let's say, for example, uh, and the screen is about to go, in fact, let's make it dark because I know some of you do want a dark screen, but I'm still on screen right now. So I'm going to add something on screen, okay? So let's say, for example, you got $1,000, okay? Let's say you got $1,000 and you're like, okay, I want to start leverage trading. How do I do this? So of course you come to the platform and you think I'm going to start trading. Understand, okay, that if the price of the coin, let's say you put $1,000 in and let's say you do 10X, okay, your leverage is 10X, okay? So just bear with me. $1,000 in, your leverage is 10X, okay? Effectively, because you've clicked 10X leverage, you're not playing with $1,000. You are playing with $10,000, guys. That is how much money you have now, okay? So if the price of a coin, let's say, for example, Bitcoin, you did it with 10 of leverage, and Bitcoin goes up 10%, okay? Here's what happens now, okay? Because Bitcoin goes up 10%, okay? And you've got 10x leverage. So rather than just making $100, okay? What happens now is your $10,000 gains 10%. So 10% of $10,000 is $1,000, guys. So $1,000 is gonna be profited to you. And of course, it's reflected in your balance. And then that just basically means that you've doubled effectively your money, guys. So long story short, if you got $100 and you start leverage trading, let me just explain it again because I know I probably confused some of you guys. 
So let's say you got $100, okay? And let's say you start leverage trading. You say, I'm going to 10x my leverage because I want more money. You now have access to $1,000, okay? So now, forget your $100. You're now playing with $1,000, okay? So the price goes up 10%. If we calculate what 10% of... Um, no, in fact, let's just say 20%. Let's say Bitcoin goes up 20%. You're like, yes, boom, nice, okay? That means your $1,000 goes up 20% and you will have $1,200, okay? But remember, you only started with $100. So you've borrowed $1,000 and now your position is $1,200. $200, which means you've profited $200. So if you close your position, your closing position is going to be your 100 initial dollars and the $200 profit. So now you're going to have made $300. And that's why leverage trading is so lucrative because people want to make money very, very quickly. Now, the math might have confused you, but let's take in some real world examples, okay? So the reason leverage trading as a beginner is quite dangerous is because this is, if you take one thing away from this video, this is the only point I want you to take away from this video if you're going to be doing leverage trading, okay? The one thing you need to understand about leverage trading is that timing is absolutely everything. Your timing will make or break your trade, okay? And the reason I say that is because if you time your trade poorly, you are going to lose all of your money. Now, here's what can happen, okay? And this is something that beginners to understand. Let's say I buy, okay? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to buy with $1,000 I'm just going to hold. Understand that you can't just buy and hold, guys. This is not something you can buy and hold. This is short term only because here's what happens, okay? Let's say, for example, uh, let's go back to the Blackboard. Let's say, for example, you got $100, okay? Um... $100, okay? And you decide to buy with 10x leverage, okay? You say, I'm going to buy with 10x leverage, which means I'm holding $1,000 of whatever coin, okay? And you're thinking, you know what? I'm just going to wait for a year. Guys, that will not happen, okay? What will happen, okay, is if even the price declines by 10%, you're comp the all of your money gets wiped out. So if Bitcoin goes down 10%, all of your money gets wiped out. Now, if it goes down like 9%, okay, what happens is, is that you can get margin called. And margin called is essentially where you need to put some additional money into your account to stop your account from losing fees. Because let's say, for example, let's go back to the black screen again. You've got $100 in your account. You transfer over to futures and you start buying some, okay? What's going to happen to your account, okay, when you buy with futures is that every single day they're going to charge you fees for the, for you holding that position. So you might start with $100, okay, and you might think, okay, I'm only got $100. The price has gone down. I haven't lost anything. But every day they're charging you fees, maybe $0.05, cents, okay? Maybe they're charging you $0.25, cents, okay? Every single day that you hold your position, they're going to charge you fees. And they also charge you fees every time you make a trade. So you have to understand that if you hold a position for long, it's very, very risky. This is something that um, I guess you could say is something that, of course, you should not be doing as a beginner, guys, okay? The only way as a beginner that you're going to make money if you're doing leverage trading is if you time it perfectly, which means many people that leverage trade, essentially what they do is they just trade off support. So let's say, for example, let's go to a recent coin because this is a coin that I want to... Um, Go on, let's see if I can go back here. I'm going to show you guys a coin, probably a trade that I might make. I'm not sure just yet. Um, I'm actually signed up to this platform. I might sign up, I'm not sure. But let's just go over to this, okay? Because you're a beginner, I want to show you guys a real world example, okay? So this is the daily chart of render token, okay? Now, another thing, guys, if you're thinking about doing this and you don't know technical analysis, and I said technical analysis, and you're like, wait, what's that? Don't just click off the video. Just stop watching now. If you don't know what technical analysis is, don't watch this tutorial. Go learn technical analysis. Spend the next six months watching technical analysis. Then maybe you can come back to the video. Now, essentially, guys, what technical analysis is, is it tells you where the price is going to go. So let's say, for example, I wanted to, you know, based on my technical analysis, some very basic one, I think the price of this token, okay, which is render token, I think the price could hit this level and then I guess you could say go down. So I would short at this level, okay? So I would enter a short position, okay, like that at that position. And of course, I would put like a limit. I think I think I would put like a market order and then I would put leverage, okay? And then of course, you guys can see I would put it in with USDT right here, okay? So what happens when I do that, guys, is if the price comes up and it bounces and it goes down, I'm going to make a ton of profit, guys. But if the price even goes up a little bit from here, I've lost my entire fund, guys. You understand that even if I put $5,000 in and I use leverage, guys, understand that my entire position can get wiped out. And what will happen is some platforms, please understand this, okay? You have to disable cross collateral. What cross collateral means is let's say, for example, uh, let's go back to the blackboard. Let's say, for example, okay, you have $1,000 in, in your, in your futures account okay you got one thousand dollars you say okay i'm only going to trade with two hundred dollars like i'm not trying to risk everything i'm only going to trade with two hundred dollars let me just test the water i'm just a beginner what happens is if you have cross collateral enabled okay if your position goes down by like 10 percent and you're using leverage okay they'll start to draw money from money that you're not even using because cross collateral is on which means that if the price decreases a lot and you still have your position open this money can be lost too okay and this is where you start to get margin called so guys never have cross collateral on always make sure that if you're trading with leverage okay use a very very small amount 
always make sure that as a beginner, okay, you use technical analysis. Do not just buy into a coin with leverage without doing very, very specific technical analysis, because that is something that I did as a beginner and I did lose a lot of money. So with that being said, as a beginner, if you are going to do futures, I would recommend either Bitcoin or KuCoin, but understand number one, they have fees. If you have order position for a long time, the fees are going to be a lot. Number two, if you are trading with leverage, understand that your losses are going to be amplified, which means even if, let's say, for example, you are to buy here or something, you could lose entire, your entire amount of money. And then down here, of course, you would have made, which is why timing must be impeccable. So like I said, I would never recommend you trade as a beginner, okay, ever, okay? Go learn technical analysis. Go learn what charts means. Go understand how Bitcoin works. I can't explain that in this short video. I don't want this to be, you know, a long video forever. But what I need to say to you guys is that if you are a beginner, I'd recommend starting with very small amounts of money, very small amounts of leverage, um, and just doing that instead. Because if you don't, you're going to realize how effective this is, okay? And of course, when you do have positions, um, when you have open orders and you do have positions, so essentially you'll realize profit and loss will be in this other tab. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So essentially, when you do have a position, okay, and for example, you can see right here, this person shorted with 125x leverage. Um, and of course, the entry price, you can see the price that they shorted at and the price that it went down. You can see that this is not a huge amount. But of course, let's, let's say, for example, you put $1,000 in. If you made the trade with $125, if you made the trade with $1,000, so let's say, for example, we traded with $1,000 here, okay? And we did 125x leverage and we decided to short here and we made 378%. Essentially, your new profit would be, I think, around $3,700. So one thing that you need to understand, when you're seeing these screenshots, okay, you don't know how much money the person has made. You know the percentage, but not the money. Because if I did this with $10, which you can, you can actually trade with $10. It means I've made $30 from this trade. And some people, they're making $30. Some people are making $300,000. You have no idea how much people are trading with. So take it with a grain of salt if someone just posts a screenshot, because um, I can guarantee you that sometimes people are not going to be trading with large amounts. And when you see it on Twitter, understand that this is what's going on. Okay. It's just a percentage increase. If $1 goes to $2, okay, that's 100% gain, okay, okay, and that, that could be what's in some people's accounts, so understand, don't be fooled by that too, and that's just breaking down what these screenshots are, so this is the amount of leverage used, so 125 times, so your profits get multiplied by 125 times, this is how much money you've gained, this is the position, whether or not you're short or long, short, you think the price is going to go down, long, you think the price is going to go up, this is the price that they shorted at, and this is the price now where they exited at, um, and sometimes this doesn't mean where they exited. It just means where the price is at now. So with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.